that allow you to, to plug the juice box in in different ways. Um, standard 110 volt uh, wall plug. The uh, the charger that's built into the juice box is uh, uh, a fully automatic um, three amp charger. Um, and, and the automatic uh, uh, is an important point because what that means is you can plug the system into the wall and forget about it. Um, less expensive chargers um, uh, simply don't do that. Um, you may have devices at home or use things in the past that uh, tell you to plug it in for a certain number of hours um, and then unplug it. Don't leave it unattended. Um, that type of charger is still doing its job. It's delivering power to the batteries, but uh, it's, it has no feedback mechanism to know the state of charge in the batteries. Um, uh, the charger that's in this machine, 100% automatic. Uh, in fact, you could, and some people do, you could plug this into the wall, turn on the inverter, and then plug, say, your PC or, or uh, television or laptop into it. And you use this like a, a UPS, like an uninterruptible power supply. Uh, the, 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 the system is designed in a way that allows the batteries to be being charged while they're also being used. Um, it's not that difficult to do. It requires some some uh, some extra work, uh, but to us it's very important, especially with something that is capable of using a solar panel. It's very easy to imagine a user um, out in the middle of nowhere uh, running communications gear or, uh, or 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 any sort of portable device, and they should be able to take the solar panel and deploy it and continue to use whatever they're using and know that, uh, that the solar panel is able to do its job. Um, which, in this case, it is. So in any case, you've got uh, two ways to bring power into the system. Um, the, uh, the, the, the power is stored in two, uh, what are called AGM batteries. Uh, AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. Really all it is is uh, a very robust method of building a, a, a battery. Um, it, oftentimes used in power sports, off-roaders, uh, uh, racing boats, um, motorcycles. Um, initially used in industries where you really just beat the heck out of your batteries. Um, and uh, they couldn't have something that would outgas or would leak or, or spill. And, uh, and this, these are they're great batteries. Um, if you were to do a, a search online for AGM, you'll very quickly see what I mean. Um, they are readily available. Um, the, the size that's in the juice box really uh, came about mostly because of uh, electric scooters and uninterruptible power supplies for computers. Um, but they are an industry standard size. Find them on Amazon. Find them at uh, your local Batteries Plus. Um, and incidentally, the, the change-out uh, procedure doesn't even require tools. Very easy to do. Um, uh, it doesn't have to happen very often. Um, typically, an AGM battery uh, according to manufacturers, I've never actually tested this, three to four hundred life cycles, um, meaning discharge to recharge. That's kind of a squishy number because it depends a lot on what you've done to it. If, if you take any kind of battery and you run it completely flat and charge it up and run it completely flat and do that a couple hundred times, that battery has got to be close to the end of its life. Um, but in any case, good solid batteries don't leak, can't spill, they don't outgas. Um, uh, they are truly maintenance-free. Really good stuff. We've used them for a long time. Never had any trouble with any kind of AGMs. Um, so that's our storage system. So we've got juice coming in. We've got a way to store the juice. And then we need a way to get the juice back out so you can actually use it. Um, with the juice box, there's a couple, a couple ways to do that. Um, 12 volts or 110 volts. 110 volt, of course, is what you have in your house. 12 volts, easiest way to think of it, is what you've got in your car. With the juice box, the main power on turns on the, uh, the voltage display, which is a, 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 a real-time display of the volts that are currently in the battery. Um, um, it updates four times a second. Um, kind of fun to watch when you start hitting the batteries hard or you're charging them. You get a pretty good sense of what's going on with the machine. But uh, this powers up the, the 12 volt side and the display, so you've got standard 12 volt car sockets. Um, two of them. I say standard. These are, uh, and, and they really are, uh, marine grade 
sockets. Um, you've got Anderson power poles, which you may or may not be familiar with. Um, ham radio guys, some military people, uh, emergency responders, uh, people with high-end audio custom systems in their vehicles and so forth. Anderson power poles are just another 12-volt connection. Very secure, very low power loss, um, and they're just gorgeous to work with. They're beautifully designed, very well done, um, and uh, worth the trouble to put them in there. Um, you've got a uh, uh, circuit breaker, which, uh, like a fuse, um, unlike a fuse, it's uh, uh, not something you need to replace. One of the things that, that Harden Power doesn't want to build and sell is, uh, is any device that, right when you start using it, especially under stress, during a power outage, you're not quite sure what you've got. You just know that, you know, thank God you bought this box and now you now need to plug something into it. Um, if, you, uh, if you try to pull too much juice out of this machine, that circuit breaker will pop. It will protect the juice box. Um, and uh, you're not going to then have to wonder if you've got a fuse of the right amps and to start taking the machine apart to replace a fuse. Um, you just, just hit the circuit breaker. Um, this switch uh, turns on the, uh, the inverter. Uh, we think of that as, as the 110 volt side. Um, that energizes the uh, pigtails for, for uh, standard uh, 110 volt uh, devices. Um, so to, to summarize, we've got uh, two ways to bring power into the box. We've got the batteries to store that power. We've got several different ways to bring the power back out again. Um, I guess that's it for, for video one about the juice box. We'll, uh, we'll definitely, in later videos, get more into what you can and can't do with it. Um, as always, we, uh, we love your questions, comments. We're working on the YouTube and the Facebook thing. Um, uh, PortableUniversalPower.com is the, is the best way to, to get a hold of us or to see what we're doing lately. Um, and we've got a lot more going on than just this. But uh, uh, we're pleased. This is this is uh, proven to be a pretty popular um, device. And I can just tell you we're doing our best to, uh, to build them as, uh, as quick as we can and as best as we can. So again, my name is Bill Harrison with Harden Power Systems. Thank you so much for uh, watching. We'll see you later.